What I'm about to share are some of the most ridiculous expenses that Caroline Ellison and Sam Bankman Fried made in 2022 as if it wasn't enough that they stole customer money, gambled it, lost it all. They also used our money to fund the most lavish lifestyle you could imagine in the Bahamas. Court filings have now shown that FTX spent more than $40 million on company expenses in 2022 alone. The company only survived up until September due to liquidity issues, which means they spent this amount in nine months. If you were given $4.5 million a month to spend, what would you spend it on? Caroline Ellison and Sam Bankman Fried spent it all on the most luxurious hotels, the finest foods, and flights all around the world. Let's begin with the accommodations. According to bankruptcy court documents, FTX spent more than $15 million on luxury hotels and accommodation. $5.8 million of that was spent in one resort alone, the Albany in the Bahamas. This is a beautiful oceanside resort with its own yacht marina and golf course. One of Albany's founders told Fortune magazine in high season, accommodation at that resort can cost as much as $60,000 per night. Sam Bankman Fried himself lived at this resort in a penthouse, which is now available for sale at around $40 million. But get this, FTX also owned 15 condos in that resort for their other staff members. This amounts to $256 million on the company books just for real estate in the Bahamas alone. It is no surprise that the Bahamian government is working really hard to get it all back. Bahamian regulators are telling the American government that the liquidation of FTX's properties shouldn't be taking place in an American court because FTX in the Bahamas has no assets here, no creditors here, and has never done business here. Sam bankman fried also owned property in a gated community called Old Fort Bay. Documents show that Sam bankman frieds parents, Stanford Law professors Joseph Bankman and Barbara Freed are the signatories. And in those documents, the property is stated as a vacation home. Okay, let's move on to food. FTX spent nearly $7 million on food in nine months in 2022, and $1 million of that was with one caterer. These food expenses include $2,500 lunches for Sam Bankman Freed and his pals. Just take a second to remember that during these nine months where they spent $40 million, they generated $0 in customer revenue. Sam Bankman Fried and Caroline Ellison are the people who hijacked effective altruism as a way to justify making risky trades to try and make as much money as possible so they could give it all away in the end. But I don't quite see how spending two and a half thousand dollars on lunches is a means to that end. Staff at the FTX offices in the US were also treated to luxury perks like $200 every day for DoorDash food deliveries. And if you were an FTX staff member in the Bahamas, you'd also get free groceries, bi-weekly massages, a suite of cars available to you with gas covered, of course, and full expenses paid trips to any of the firm's offices around the world. Before FTX's collapse, Sam bankman fried did an interview with Bloomberg in April 2022. He stated, you pretty quickly run out of really effective ways to make yourself happier by spending money. I don't want a yacht. Well, we shouldn't be surprised that this liar does own a yacht. It's been reported by Fox Business that Sam bankman fried does actually own a multi-million dollar 52-foot yacht. What we're starting to see now was all the comments about effective altruism from Sam Bankman Freed was probably just a PR stunt to make him look good. All right, let's move on to the private jets. Of the $40 million spent in those prolific nine months, almost $4 million of it was spent on flights. This included half a million dollars on postage and delivery. FTX's headquarters used to be in Hong Kong, but then they moved it to the Bahamas. 
staff then realized that Amazon.com does not deliver to the Bahamas, so FTX hired private planes to fly packages from Miami to the Bahamas. Yeah, that happened. In hindsight, this kind of lavish spending was allowed to continue because FTX was a private company and as such didn't have to disclose anything. But get this, internally, they didn't even have an accounting department, so how would they be able to track anything? This is perhaps why the bankruptcy court revealed that FTX staff submitted their expenses through the online chat platform Slack, which were then approved by emojis. It's no wonder we're still trying to figure out all of FTX's financials especially when they actively did an incredible job of creating a number of shell companies so it would be as difficult to trace as possible. But I tell you what, at least FTX are consistent with their reckless spending as they have been in other departments of their company. Let's take marketing for an example. They spent $135 million to secure the naming rights of the Miami Heat basketball stadium but did you know that FTX employees actually questioned this deal internally on their Slack chat platform? One anonymous former employee in marketing even said they were never overseeing how much return we were actually getting. No one was really following up with what next after you got the deal. Marketing also paid $15 million to Kevin O'Leary just to be a spokesperson for them. And who knows how much Tom Brady, Giselle Bündchen, and Larry David got paid for their FTX commercials. Any celebrity that's tied with FTX is facing a lot of criticism right now, but I kind of have a little bit of sympathy with these three. Can't really expect them to know whether a company is financially sound or not. I do, however, take some issue with Kevin O'Leary. This is a guy who works in finance, who's on a TV show called Shark Tank, where he's supposed to be a savvy investor and he calls himself Mr. Wonderful. This guy, I don't have a lot of sympathy for at all. Oh yeah, and Sam bankman frieds company also extended personal loans to their own executives. SBS trading firm Alameda Research, of which Caroline Ellison was the CEO of, loaned a billion dollars to Sam bankman fried himself and $543 million to the head of engineering, Nishad Singh. At this point, there is so much ridiculousness surrounding FTX that it's hard to take it all in, especially when it was all done with our money. But if you find this kind of content helpful to stay up to date, then subscribe for more.